Hello and welcome to our NAB demo here at the Brainstorm booth. We're about to see a demonstration of the amazing possibilities of the Brainstorm product range for virtual production, motion graphics, and XR. Here at NAB, we are using a combination of a chromosome and this LED video wall provided by Unilumin USA. This setup allows us to combine the best of both worlds. Veronica? This means we are not constrained to LED or chroma VR sets. We can use both setups, which is great for broadcast and live event environments. Thanks, Veronica. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we can also use any LED wall shapes just like this corner wall setup here, which is a standard way to display XR content. Now, Infinity Set with Unreal Engine 5 breaks the usability barrier by handling all the complex setup that XR virtual production requires. However, creating a visually engaging XR experience requires solving a few technical issues. Brainstorm provides the tools to achieve the best results because of our advanced technology and, wait for it, 30 plus years of experience in virtual production. That's a lot of experience, Veronica. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's start by explaining how XR works. First, we need a track camera which sends the current camera position to Infinity Set, which then sends the render scene to the LEDs according to this data. Then the camera captures the render scene and the talent, sending the final results to on air. But, ladies and gentlemen, one of the main issues of using LEDs as a background is that we may need to shoot a scene that is larger than the dimensions of the LEDs. Now, see how while the camera points outside of the LED wall, you still see the full virtual set in the output monitors. So, even with a limited LED surface area, the render is not bound to its limits. Now, this is what we call set extension. This means we need to key out the LED area from the AR render and use it as a 3D mask to make both renders work together. But there is a catch, ladies and gentlemen. The color gamut of the LEDs will be different than that of the rendered scene. So what do we do? Infinity Set uses 3D LUTs to ensure the virtual render and the LEDs display exactly the same color in the output scene. Then we simply need to fade the edges of the set extension to perfectly match with the LED area, resulting in a seamless background. Check out these graphics, ladies and gentlemen. We are showing you right now. I mean, it is beautiful stuff. Wouldn't you agree, Veronica? Yep, it's all about the graphics. However, another challenge is the discrepancy between the render from the track position and the actual position of the camera as it moves, resulting in an incorrect perspective from the point of view of the camera. Now moving on, this requires to generate a render with a wider thrust group than the track camera's field of view. So, as the camera moves, brainstorm algorithms correct the perspective of the previous render to match it with the camera's perspective. Also, the fact that the LEDs show the render related to a given camera's position makes multi-camera complicated. If we switch the camera, we need to first send the render from the new camera position to the LED in advance. In fact, we've been using a multi-camera production during this demo. You may see some changes in the LED background when we switch between cameras. This is because we're changing the render to match the active camera's perspective and ensure the output is correct. Also, there are several methods to achieve this. The one you've been seeing in this demo is by using macros in a production switcher. Now the switcher handles both the video wall and the on-air input. So, when the switcher changes the two cameras, the macro is sure to also switch the rendered background sent to the LED so it's in sync with the alpha of the selected camera. Other methods, such as ghost frame, use high frequencies on the LEDs, displaying several sources simultaneously synchronizing each one with a different camera. It's your choice, but as you can see, Brainstorm is compatible with all of them. Oh yes, indeed. And as we have seen through this demo, we can teletransport, yeah, I say teletransport, any person, even Veronica, from anywhere in the world, over to our live show and sit 
we're using Unreal Engine 5, we've improved our talent integration with Lumen real-time ray trace shadows and reflections. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we've just improved our built-in chroma key up with a new algorithm, which unlike a traditional key that only uses one shade of green, is actually doing a pixel-by-pixel -pixel comparison with a 3D model of the real site, by first getting a clean shot of the green screen. So now, we're not just getting a clean key, but also keep the real shadows to get an even better talent integration with the virtual background. What do you think of that, Veronica? Wow. 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 I'm so perfectly integrated that I am reflected on the virtual scene. Now, remote interviews can be interactive. Anything, and I mean anything, is possible with brainstorm technology. Veronica, perfectly integrated is exactly what you said. I mean, I totally agree, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> And you could be anywhere. Infinity Tech can change the background scene dynamically and send you to, I don't know, maybe let's say Times Square. Veronica. Hey, now not only can we use virtual backgrounds, but also real footage and include any talent recaptured real life environments and allow for real time interaction between people in different places. Veronica, you're with me, but you're in Times Square at the same time. I know. That is just. Great for magic. <laughs> Bringing talent from anywhere in the world to our show is perfect for news, sports, and entertainment. Indeed, it is. And this kind of integration is essential in a broadcast <laughs> environment, as well as motion and data driven graphics supporting the show. Broadcast graphics workflows have specific requirements that are alien to the game engine framework, but essential for broadcast operation. That's correct, right, Monica. Now, for Blower First and Caption. It's a complex chart created from data coming from external sources. Brainstorm, install any of your graphic requirements with total ease. And on top of that, Infinity Set now features a new presentation model that allows to drag and drop PowerPoint and PDF documents and use them as additional assets. And everything you see through this demo is being done by a single workstation by camera, including XR with Unreal 5 set extension, AR graphics, overlay graphics, and talent teleporting. This is all possible thanks to the latest Infinity Z version and NVIDIA RTX 6000 other GPU. Also, as content creation is a team effort, let us also thank our partners for helping us put this fantastic demo together. Thank you, Tease. You're the best. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got time for for today. Thank you so much for being here with us at Brainstorm. If you have any questions about anything we said today, please ask one of our members around the booth and they'll be happy to help you. I'm Anthony. I'm Veronica, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Hey, Veronica. Bye-bye. There we go.